Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. We're excited to start our new tutorial series, which is going to focus on game design. The engine that we're going to use is Unity, and I um, had an earlier uh, tutorial that basically showed you how to install Unity. And if you haven't done that yet, make sure that you go to the website, unity3d.com, and then uh, you can go ahead and click on Get Unity and um, get up to speed with where we're at here. Now, another thing that we did in the first tutorial is um, I have a number of assets that I have put together and I'm going to provide for my classes but if you want the same exact assets what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to this website right here GameArt2D they've got a lot of um, assets that you can purchase here which are pretty sweet and really well put together and I love the artwork it's fun um, and it's definitely what a 2D platform game should be. Now, um, we also have the freebies tab, which we've got all of these sprites and tile sets and GUIs that are all put together for free. Excellent. So when I reference any of this stuff, um, just know that it's here on this site and you can grab it from here and download it for free and you'll be able to work right alongside my classes here as we go. And I just want to give you a quick preview of what's going on in Unity and what we're kind of working towards here. Now this isn't the full complete game, but it should give you a rough idea. We've got a character that's animated, we can run, we can jump, we can slide, we can melee, uh, we can do all this stuff, we can throw knives, we can do all kinds of things. Um, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of possibilities here. So let's go ahead and get started with the basics here. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and quit play. What I'm going to do is, if you haven't yet, go ahead and open up Unity, and you're going to come to a window that probably looks a lot like this. So I'm going to go to a new project. And here's my new project. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it new Unity project because daily I'm going to be deleting these and recreating them. And I want my project to be 2D. Okay. And the very first thing that I need to do after that is just determine where I'm going to save that to. And I go ahead and create the project. Now, to get my classes just kind of jump started with this whole process here, um, first off, we're in Unity. Um, when you open Unity for the first time, it's going to look very different from this. I've found that this is kind of a, an easy workflow, so I've arranged my windows like that. As I go through the tutorials, if you want to follow along um, and it's easier for you to do so with the windows like this, feel free to rearrange them. We're going to get started by importing an asset package. So uh, let's see here, what do we got? We are going to go up to assets and we're going to go to import package and it's a custom package that I've put together. Now at this point, I created a package for my students here to kind of get them going and uh, I'm going to choose the package that we're going to be working with and we're going to click open. Um, I think I'm going to have this available via Google link too, which I'll put into the description. And uh, now the only thing is, is that we are going to uncheck all of these individually here. We don't need any of these levels actually in here. Uh, we're just going to take those out and then we're going to go ahead and click import. Not a whole lot has really happened at this point because we don't really have a level that we've uploaded at this point. So uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to bring in a level. Before I do that though, let's show you something really basic. We're going to go to the project tab. I'm going to go to assets. I'm going to right click on it and create a new folder. Right, in that new folder, let's call this levels. This is where we're going to put all of our scenes. Your scenes are basically your levels for your video game. And what I'm doing here is after I move this over, I'm going to go ahead and bring in one of my little scenes. And I'll have this one Google link too, so you can at least have a starting point to work off of. And uh, it's just called Player Platform. Okay. And I'm going to take it and directly drag it right into the levels folder. So after you download this, you can go ahead and bring that in. We can close up that. Let's move Unity back over so we can see what's going on. And now, from here, let's go ahead and open up that level. I'm going to double click on that. And here we are. Now, we've got a couple things. Up here is our scene, okay? indicated by the scene tab. And the scene is like infinite. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, and you can zoom in quite a bit, and it's pretty crazy. Some basic tools to navigate around the scene. You've got the hand tool here. We can go ahead, and you can zoom in with your scroller as you go, and I'm sure you'll be able to navigate this quickly. We've got the moving tool, so if I select something, I can move them, whatever object or whichever direction I want to. We've got the basic start to our project here. And... Um, 
I want to make sure that I've got a character that's fully functioning and that I've got a platform that she's interacting with. And you're probably thinking, well, that is not the character I was looking to see here. Um, but we're going to be changing out the sprites as we go. Um, let's go ahead and test this out. Now that we've opened this new scene, push play. Okay, and we've got our character. And you can see she can already run and jump and all that stuff. And it seems like I've taken all the fun out of the project, but really the fun is just about to begin here. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.